Hello everyone, welcome to my channel CSE Patshala. We were studying about Python for Machine Learning and Data Science and in this tutorial we will study about three dimensional plotting with the help of Matplotlib. So as we have seen in the previous tutorials that Matplotlib is used for two dimensional plotting. However, we can also plot three dimensional figures with the help of Matplotlib and here there are utilities which were built on the top of matplotlib two dimensional display and these are present in the recent versions so just to provide a set of tools for three dimensional data visualization it has been created three dimensional plots can be enabled by importing mplot 3d toolkit which has been already included in the matplotlib package in the recent versions. So we can draw a three dimensional axis by passing a simple keyword that is uh, 3D to any of the normal axis creation routines. So let's consider a code and then we will understand how to draw a 3D figure using matplotlib. From MPL underscore toolkits import mplot 3d so as i have already told that once we have installed matplotlib package in our system then there is an availability of mpl toolkit in it and from that toolkit we are importing mplot 3d in order to create 3d graphs then we are importing numpy as np that means uh, numpy is a package for working on for multi-dimensional arrays and here we are using np as an allies to it. Then we are importing matplotlib.pyplot as plt that means matplotlib is our main library, pyplot is a sub library of it and here we are using plt as an allies to pyplot. Then we are using fig equal to plt dot figure. So this method figure is used to create our 3d plot and uh, it is a figure class actually. This module represents a figure class and it is a top level container for all the plot elements. So whatever we will be plotting here, the figure represents the top level class to it and it can be instantiated by calling a figure function from the pyplot module. So that's why we have written a statement here that is fig equal to plt dot figure. And there are certain parameters which are available in uh, this function. That means these are the figure size. We can give it in the form of width and height. Then we can also give dots per inches, face color. That means uh, figure patch face color. Then edge color also we can give. That means figure patch edge colors. And we can also give the line width here. However, here we are just giving no argument in our uh, method figure so it's all been taken by default so the next statement is ax equal to plt dot access projection equal to 3d so here as we want to create a 3d diagram or a graph therefore we are taking the axis projection as 3d so if you talk about it a three-dimensional axis can be created by passing a keyword projection equal to 3d with this 3d access enabled we can plot a variety of three dimensional plots and it is one of the functionalities that benefits immensely from viewing figures interactively rather than statically in the notebook. So it's a very important concept that here we can directly give a projection equal to 3D and generate the 3D figures. Then the next thing is z equal to np dot line space 0 comma 1 comma 100. So what does this line space uh, method do? This line space method returns the number of spaces with respect to the interval. So similarly, it's uh, just quite same as uh, numpy dot arrange, whether uh, where we will take a range of values from the start to the end. But instead, here in case of line space, we will be using steps or the simple numbers. So the syntax for the line space here is numpy dot line space start comma stop comma num as per the method which we have taken here 
and given three arguments. So here, zero stands for the start, one st stands for the end, and hundred stands for the numbers. So what does these mean? So the start means that is the start of the interval range. By default, it is zero. We have also given zero here. Stop means that means the end of the interval range. Okay, so we will start from the zero. We will end on one. And num stands for the number of samples to generate. So between 0 to 1, we will generate 100 samples as per our code. And the next thing is x equal to z star np dot sign 20 star z. So if we want to create a sign curve, so we can use a method that is sign. Okay, so here we have used that sign and then we did multiply it with 20 and z. So whatever the values which are coming for the, for the z has been multiplied with the 20. Then we have calculated the sign of that and uh, then we did multiply it with z again. Okay, so this is how we will get the value of x. Similarly, we can also create the cosine curve. So here we have written the same statement. Just we did mention cos. 20 into z okay so whatever the values of z we just multiply it with by 20 and then we will calculate the cosine of it and then again we will multiply it by z and this value is assigned to y so this is how we will calculate the values of x and values of y and then we will be plotting a 3d line this has been done with the help of a function ax dot plot 3d so here we are mentioning 3d and this 3D has been available in your MPL underscore toolkit. So AX dot plot 3D X, Y, Z. That means we are giving all the three axes X, Y and Z. And then we are defining the color of them as gray. Again, then we are setting up our figure title as AX dot set underscore title. We are giving it as 3D line plot. Okay, so once our figure is created, it has been having a title of 3D line plot. We can also save our figure in a form of fig dot save it. And uh, I'm saving it with a name 3D line dot png. So this will be saved in the drive from which my Jupyter notebook or Python is running. For example, I'm accessing it uh, currently from my D drive. So this figure with the name 3D line dot PNG will be saved in my D drive. And the last line is we want to show our plot or the figure. So we have mentioned here as PLT dot show. So let's save this code and run this code. So here is our 3D line plot. We are having X axis, Y axis, this is, uh, we can represent any axis by our side. That means if this is X axis, this is Y axis, and this represents the Z axis. So this is respectively a 3D line, which has been plotted with the help of plot 3D. And uh, these are respectively the coordinates, which are being available from zero to one, because we have already taken the line space of uh, Z. So the value of Z is from 0 to 1. So this is our Z axis and the values of X and Y has been taken in a form of for both sine and cosine multiplied by Z. So these are respectively its values and this is how we got our 3D line plot. So as we have already studied that we can draw a variety of three dimensional plots with the help of mplot 3D. So the most basic three dimensional plot is a 3D line plot which we did create it and uh, we have taken the three values that is x, y and z triples and uh, yes we have created this graph with the help of ax dot plot 3D function. Now we can also create a scatter plot for this. So here we will use 3D scatter plot is being generated by ax dot scatter 3D function. So let's consider one more code and then we will see how to implement it. From MPL underscore toolkits import mplot 3D. So we are uh, taking MPL underscore toolkit and importing mplot 3D from it. Then again we are importing numpy package. Then we are importing matplotlib package. 
so all these three statements we did seen in the above example also now the next thing is we need to plot a figure so therefore we are using a figure function here fig equal to plt dot figure we know that it's a class and it has been uh, having certain parameters to plot a figure of certain width and height so here we are uh, taking uh, nothing so all will be by default now the next thing is we need to give access to our figure and uh, here we are selecting 3d axis so we are giving ax equal to plt dot axis projection will be 3d because we are creating a 3d diagram then the next thing is we need to create our z axis and z axis we are creating by np dot line space 0 comma 1 comma 100 this means this, uh, that we will start from 0 we will end till 1 and uh, in intermediate we will take 100 values from 0 to 1 and then we will calculate the value of x and y and these are calculated as we did in the above example also that is z star np dot sine 20 into z okay so whatever the values of z which we will calculate in the above line we will put here and we will take the sine and cosine of those values and multiply it by z to find x and y then we are taking c equal to x plus y and uh, this parameter we will put in our function which is our main function to create a 3d scatter so here we have written ax dot scatter here we can also write like this ax dot scatter 3d this will also represent a three dimensional figure so the arguments which we are giving here is x comma y comma z that means all the three excess elements and then we are giving c equal to c actually it represents a color okay and uh, then we are setting the title of our figure as ax dot set underscore title that is uh, 3d scatter plot we are uh, saving our figure by 3d scatter dot png and uh, then we are showing our plot by plt dot show so these statements we have already seen in the above example just we are using a change statement because we need to plot a scatter plot so here we have used ax dot scatter 3d so let's save this code and run this code so here is our 3d scatter plot that means it's not a line it's a graph which has been made up of scatter points or distributed points of various colors so here we have uc equal to c that means uh, we are having different colors for our graph if it happens that we don't use this thing okay so let's save this code again and run this code so we are getting a single color that is a uh, sky blue color for our plot uh, if we will use some other colors then it has been also possible so now if we talk about where this graph has been saved so i have my d drive here this is my d drive and if i talk about the 3d line plot so here is my 3d line plot this figure it has been saved and if i talk about a uh, scatter plot so 3d scatter plot which we did created right now so that's all for this tutorial we'll come up with more informative tutorials on matplotlib thanks for watching kindly do subscribe to my channel